What if one of the Baltic Sea's most problematic pollutants could be turned into an economic resource, in the process helping to strengthen Europe's food security for decades to come? Phosphorus, a chemical element that is essential for all life on Earth. Without it, plants and animals cannot grow. Phosphorus has enabled the green revolution in agriculture and underpins our global food security. Without it, modern farming is impossible. But it is a finite resource. The EU imports over 90% of the phosphorus it uses in agriculture, and only a small part of it gets recycled. Phosphorus is not just a resource question. Phosphorus washing into the sea in urban and industrial wastewater or running off from fields and farms is one of the biggest causes of eutrophication, a problem that has devastated the ecosystems of the Baltic Sea for decades. The extra phosphorus causes aquatic plants, especially algae, to overgrow, so much so that they choke the life around them until, in the worst cases, the seabed that should be rich with fish becomes a desert starved of sunlight, oxygen, and life, as is the case in the Baltic Sea. But it doesn't have to be that way. The status of the Baltic Sea when it comes to eutrophication is actually, on the one hand, uh, quite improving. So we can see that nutrient runoff from land and from uh, our different sewage treatment plants has been reducing significantly since the 1950s. But on the other hand, we also have a lot of old sins. We have a lot of nutrients, in particular phosphorus, in the sediments that have been released there since past use. And we also see a lot of nutrients in the open water body. So in, in Sweden, when it comes to, to generating or creating policy mechanisms for reducing the impacts of defecation, we work on, 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 on several levels. On the one hand, we need to have a, a functioning food system. We need to create opportunities to uh, grow food and that has an impact on the environment. So in that area, we need to find measures how to have agriculture while reducing the load of nutrients into agriculture production. And we also need to find measures to reduce the impacts, that is, take out nutrients from agriculture lands. And we are working on both of these aspects at the moment. The Bonus Return Project is exploring ways to recycle the phosphorus found in wastewater as well as agricultural wastes putting it back into the economy instead of letting it harm the Baltic. The good news is that there are plenty of solutions out there. Now it's up to governments, businesses and investors to make sure they get scaled up, transforming our phosphorus waste into a sustainable resource. <laughs>